Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 22nd and 29th of June 2019, eclipse season, here we come, heading for a total eclipse on July 2nd, but before that we have a bit of, um, you know, kilometers to go or miles to go wherever you are from around the world. This is a very intense time. How was your last week? Was it challenging for you on a personal, emotional level? Is it like the tectonic plates are moving and it creates pressure and it creates eruptions, but change is on the way. Massive change. And we need to be loyal to that process of change and transformation and upgrade in ourselves, in our lives in society, in the world. As Vesta and Uranus conjunct over this week in the sign of Taurus, so says Uranus, we are requiring a change, a revolution, an upgrade. We need to walk forward onto the future and utilize the most advanced knowledge in our hands at the moment. And Vesta says, be loyal to that sacred fire. Be loyal to it because this is the fire of life. This is the eternal flame that you need to guard. And which subjects, do we ask? Steps Taurus into the ring and says, well, first of all, how you perceive yourselves. Your own value as human beings, as individuals, as small self-sustaining cells within a greater system in front of the others what is your value asks Taurus and how do you deal with those resources in your hands with that value at your disposal how do you handle resources asks Uranus in return I think we are in need of an upgrade <laughs> indeed we need to be loyal to that upgrade says Vesta because it is a holy upgrade, as um, the Muslim says, you know, it's a holy war, it's a jihad. Um, Money-wise, finances, economy, the uh, um, allocating of land and resources in general, and the five senses. How we deal with our own sensuality, with our own gluttony, with our need for excess. Are we self-sustaining selves or are we dependent? So all of these questions are asked now and we need to be loyal to that change within us and within society at this time. This is a still intense time in the skies up to the middle of next week, you know as a great fire trine is starting to build up it has a very healing atmosphere to it and we'll talk about it a little later on but let's start with this Saturday the 22nd as the moon is in Pisces trining the sun wonderful day to just be couch potatoes you know enjoy yourselves eat a lot of cornflakes if you eat that you know only if you eat that <laughs> or or anything you like you know and or go out to the movies or to plays or to <coughs> theater or out to nature or involve yourself in anything creative or spiritual Sunday the 23rd just be careful out from too much excess as we have this opposition between Venus and uh, Gemini and uh, uh, um, Jupiter in Sagittarius we could be over indulging ourselves or asking for too much freedom in our lives in our relationships we could ask our partners for too much or feel that they are demanding too much from us that our needs are standing in contradiction to our relationships right now and we just want to put our feet up and relax but we can't so watch out for overindulgence at this time moderation is a good answer and if you want to see Mercury at its brightest, go outside on the 23rd, 24th, 
look to the west just after sunset you'll see it rising in its full glory the 24th Monday is a very sensitive day in the skies as this opposition between Venus and Jupiter is uh, uh, challenged by the moon and Neptune standing in 90 degrees in a T-square so we have to be careful not to act out as I said before in the, in the subjects that I've talked about before those Venusian Jupiterian subjects of over excess could be ignited by a feeling that I never got some you know I deserve some you know why do everybody else get to have fun it, it can come from a feeling of loss you know or from a need to escape into a fuzzy warm bubble you know from something that is stressful in your life so just watch these patterns as Monday deepens and and at dusk uh, arrives uh, things the energy starts flowing fast you know communication starts flowing fast we feel this grand fire trine building between Chiron in Aries Juno Mercury in Mars in Leo and Ceres in Sag it is a time for healing it is a time of healing through giving and fighting to change our ways and opinions fighting to change our ways and opinions to upgrade our ways and opinions how through more giving a giving that is out of love a giving that is always more than I would receive willingly understanding the cyclic motion of karma dharma nature whatever you want to name it how do I heighten and elevate my opinions and actions and interactions within my close proximity? Wednesday, good day. Just don't be too judgmental. Beware of your own gloom. If you feel yourself in an unpositive place, in a negative place, reminiscing on the past, about past mistakes, understand the lesson. Put your, click your mind back into the present moment and start building your future. Whether it's a phone call or watering a plant, well, I don't care what it is. And Thursday, wonderful day for relationships and to step out of the box, but we have to be wary from things concerning honor and ego and pride and uh, we could be a little bit over aggressive and sensitive over these days and our communication can be as well so just watch that as mercury is ingressing into the sign of leo just heightening everything i've just said um friday wonderful time to be flexible wonderful time to boldly go where we've never gone before to be involved in anything technological or high-tech to be online <laughs> um, or to um, expose yourself to new material or to new experiences it's a good day between males and females and generally when the moon is in Taurus just indulge we need a weekend like that we deserve a weekend like that relax indulge enjoy saturday is painted in green there's a sextile between the moon and uh, mars and a trine to uh, saturn that means emotional stability that comes with a lot of energy wonderful weekend for any aerobic activity and just generally putting things in order you know taking your life forward and putting them in a more satisfying place for you a more comfortable place for you uh, uh, it's about personal power and it's about believing in change that's the kind of weekend we have and utilize it and enjoy it and I hope you're going to have a beautiful beautiful week ahead of you and remember there's a, an advanced group opening in English if you want to join and a beginners group opening in September the advanced group is opening ASAP if you want to join just let me know and the uh, beginners group is opening in September
So let me know if you want to join. Thank you for sharing these videos and commenting on them. The half of Georgia that is slipping beneath the camera right here. Hello Georgia. Say hello. You say hello. You say hello. So on behalf of the flight crew, Georgia and your captain, may you live long and prosper.